Senator for Chicago Mayor responding to the city's ongoing move to block the press and public's ability to listen live to police activity. And it comes after WGN Investigates first reported on the silencing of police scanners on Monday. And investigative reporter Ben Bradley is here now with the update tonight, Ben. Ray and Mike, as you know, local news organizations have been appealing to the mayor for months, arguing that as the public's eyes and ears, we should not be locked out of real-time information on what's happening in our city. Yesterday, the mayor responded. Today, we have reaction from some of her challengers, as well as the police union president, who is skeptical of her claims. 921. Newsrooms often first learn about threats to public safety via police scanners. In Chicago, more than half of the city has already gone silent as the Lightfoot administration moves to encrypt radios. It's about officer safety. The mayor argues encryption protects against nefarious actors hijacking police frequencies, as briefly happened during the 2020 protests, looting, and street clashes. If it's unencrypted and there's access, there's no way to control criminals who are going to also get access, listen in, and adjust their criminal behavior um, in uh, response to the information that's being communicated by the officers um, via radio transmission. It doesn't stop. In a city that shattered decades-old crime records last year, the silencing of public access to police scanners also offers an upside to a mayor facing a tough re-election fight, a mayor who first ran on transparency. That's because it blinds the media and community-based first responders to knowing what's happening in real time. Openness is important, and journalists and other folks um, who have a vested interest in our safe uh, having safe communities should be able to do their job. So her blockage is, again, very much indicative of her failed leadership and her broken promises. You can't help but think that there may be ulterior motives. So I'm very sympathetic. I'm very sympathetic uh, to the media's desire to have access to have full disclosure. So far, the city has only been willing to provide access to regular encrypted radio channels on a 30-minute delay and with the opportunity to edit the broadcasts before they're made public to redact sensitive information, they say. I could see a rationale for a buffering of a five or a 10 minute window, but after 10 minutes, it seems a little ridiculous. The media has an unlikely ally in police union president John Catanzara. Do you believe her when she says it's about officer safety? No, because if it was officer safety, I would expect the unions representing the members to be asked what they thought and that never occurred because she doesn't care this is about total control kent and zara and the mayoral candidates who responded to our questions say they're suspicious of mayor lightfoot's motives if i were mayor i would sit down and i would try to find out what are the absolute safeguards we need to have and let the police make their case but right now uh you know um, you know i, I gotta side with you all because i really i really I really suspect that there may be an alternative, uh, an ulterior motive here. Mayoral candidate Jesus Chuy Garcia also chiming in within the last hour, calling the scanner move, quote, short-sighted, dangerous, and an effort to once again avoid accountability. Chicago is not the only city to attempt to fully encrypt its police frequencies, but Las Vegas, for example, allows the media to listen in live in order to quickly alert the public to safety threats. Mayor Lightfoot was asked about that potential compromise and said it's not fair to treat the press differently from the public. Mike and Ray. Is there a, a deadline coming up? Uh, what's next in this, Ben? More than half of the police radio frequencies have already been encrypted. The city says it hopes to have all of them done early in the new year. Mm. So all you have to do is stand at our assignment desk to hear how much quieter yeah. it is. Thank you, Ben.